Hello, children of God. It's Jamie again. I woke up this morning and remembered that my husband went to the store last night and bought Pop-Tarts. I don't know about you, but I really like Pop-Tarts because you can have them for breakfast, you can have them as a snack, or you can even have them for dessert if you wanted to. They're yummy, hot or cold. So when I went into the cupboard, I was looking forward to having my Pop-Tarts and I opened the cupboard and I see these. These are toaster pastries. These aren't Pop-Tarts. I wanted to have Pop-Tarts for breakfast. I like Pop-Tarts. These are generic. I mean, sure they're good, but they're not great. They're not my favorite. So after all the excitement that I had to have Pop-Tarts for breakfast, I was really let down and I was disappointed. Have you ever been disappointed by something? Maybe you got a new toy and it wasn't what you expected. Or perhaps you bought something off the clearance rack and then took it home and realized really quick why it was on the clearance rack. Or maybe something that you wanted to do got changed or canceled. Now we all had that happen to us over the past year because of what's going on. So there are a lot of things in life that can be disappointing. In fact, even our relationships with other people can be disappointing. It's great to have friendships. And of course we do our best to be kind to others and demonstrate love, but we're only human. Eventually friendships can make us sad or even let us down. But there is one important relationship we have that promises to never let us down. And that is our friendship with Jesus. It might seem strange to think of him as a friend. After all, we don't see him in person face to face or talk to him on the phone, but Jesus calls us his friends. He told his disciples that they were not servants, but friends and that they should abide in his love and the rest of his friendship. Jesus said that the best love someone can have is to give up his life for his friends. And that might sound a bit extreme, but it's exactly what Jesus did for us. We can be confident in his love for us because we know that he died for us. Sometimes, sadly, our earthly relationships might disappoint us or not work out the way that we hoped. People might move away or change. But Jesus will never leave us. He is the real thing. He is the very best kind of relationship that we can have. And even though we don't see him face to face, we can pray, we can read our Bibles, and we can talk with others about him. You know what else? Jesus wants us to love one another. Our human attempts at being kind and caring might fail, but we can trust him to work in us to show love. Jesus said that if we love him, we'll demonstrate that by staying connected to him and sharing his love with others. We can show kindness and courtesy and listen to others and help others. We can let the light of Jesus shine in us, in our lives. We know that we are connected to him by reaching out and caring for our earthly relationships. And we remember that he is the greatest friend of all. He is the very best example of friendship. Jesus is the real thing. So why don't we say a prayer and thank God for that? Dear God, thank you for your son, Jesus. 
He is the greatest friend we ever had. We know that friendships don't always work out, but we know that we can always look to you for the true value of friendship. Help us remember your presence while we are sharing your love with others. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, everyone. Have a good week.